this is the way. Thank you. Mr. Salvatore. So to fix you waiting. Please, please, please. Can I get you anything? Tea? Coffee? No, I just went over the outcome of the test. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm really sorry. Um, this is probably the worst case scenario we could have hoped for in this situation. It's probably also the reason why you are experiencing what you have been. I'm afraid that you may not live. Are you sir? Yeah, I'm okay. Why aren't you with other kids? I did that already, but now I think you need my help. Why? Because I think you need someone to talk to, and I can be that someone. How old are you? Five. Am I old enough to know when someone is troubled? Do I look troubled? Which man in his right senses will be sitting all alone here, all dressed up when he's supposed to be at work? You're smart. You remind me of my daughter. Where's your mom? Over there. And your dad? In heaven with Jesus. That's what my mom told me. She said he had to go so that he could watch over me from the sky. You must really miss him. Yeah, I do. He sends me presents from heaven like this one. You can have it. Really? Yeah. When I fell wrong and sad, it reminds me of my dad watching over me from the sky. You're a special kid, you know. Excuse me. Hello. Have you seen the little girl who's sitting here with me before? Um, no, sir. You've been here the whole time. I haven't seen anyone with you. Hello, dear. Hey. I am really sorry. I just could not wait till evening because I have been so worried that I can't concentrate on anything at the moment. I understand, but you don't have to worry too much. Oh, stop it. If I don't worry about you, who am I? My Victoria. So, what did the doctor say? Well... He said, I'm as strong as an ox and as healthy as a horse. No cause for harm. Thank God. Because I have been so scared. So many things just ran into my mind. You don't have to scare about anything. It can try, but, but will never succeed. I guess I will see you in the evening then. So we can celebrate our sweet victory. 
Yeah, uh, Victoria. My Victoria. Okay, man. You later, man. I love you. I love you too. I'm so sorry. Truly sorry. I'm Victoria, my dear, the bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, I promise to always be with you, no matter the situation or circumstances, and will keep that promise. Remember, I promise the words from my lips to you will forever be good tidings, and so shall it be, but I find not the heart to tell you this. We are losing the battle. I'm going away, far away, but still near. We could still celebrate our victory, even though we lost the battle, but we will win the war. Right now, my heart is full of lonely sounds, like dead leaves rustling downwards and dropping upon the ground. I'm sorry I let you down. I wish I could fight more. But it seems the more I fight, the more pain I inflict on you and Alcina. I love you both very much. Please. Find the strength to be strong for Alcina. She needs you now more than ever. Give the teddy bear to her. She will need it and let her know when I go away that I will be with Jesus in heaven, watching over both of you. Victoria, my dear, I will not leave you, nor forsake you. I will forever love you, even in death. <laughs> 